Hey and welcome to this video, my name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to show you how to get paid for borrowing money in crypto DeFi apps. And if you're completely new to crypto, I'm sure this sounds sketchy and although it's very risky, I suggest you watch this with an open mind and follow along as I'll jump into this tutorial right now. And I'm, I'll be using the Anchor protocol, which is built on Terra. And uh, I won't go into any further details about the Terra ecosystem, but I can leave links below in the description to, uh, to a tutorial, which I've done where you will see how to use the Terra station and Terra wallet and how to get into the ecosystem and I can leave a link below uh, as well to just a descriptional uh, educational video about the Terra ecosystem as well so I'm in anchor protocol borrow right here and you can see UST and the net APR right now is uh, approximately 126 percent for borrowing which is uh, pretty crazy and this can change to the upside or to the downside but right now it's very high interest on actually borrowing money inside the anchor protocol so i will just show you how you can provide a bonded luna how you can take out the you know borrowed uh, value which you can lock up for further uh, and more interest as well uh, so i'm connected with the terra station and uh, as i said i have tutorial on how to use the terra station if you're completely new to the terra station as well so so anyways first off we will have to go to bond right here and you will see i want to bond luna and mint b luna so i have some luna balance available and i will just use a small amount because uh, i'm completely new to the terra ecosystem and to anchor protocol as well so i will just uh, i will just spend something i'm you know uh, comfortable with the losing because uh, a risk is to actually get liquidated when you borrow money inside anchor protocol as for now at least this might change uh, you will see you can see i i want to bond to luna and get approximately to b luna and we have to select the validator and i'm not sure there might be some risks involved with choosing a validator but i'll just choose i'll just choose one right here a small transaction fee but i will just click on mint and you will have to confirm the transaction inside your uh, Terra station extension and uh, uh, enter your password and stuff like that. But I didn't show you that. Uh, complete. So you can see I have some bonded Luna right now. And I will just click on OK. And I will go back to borrow once again. And you can see this net APR has changed since uh, I actually started this video. Uh, collateral list you can see B Luna and uh, I haven't provided anything yet so I will just click on provide and you can see I will just click on this one and you will see it will use your uh, max available balance right here and new borrow limit uh, we'll see how, how this goes I will click on proceed All right, so now, now I have provided my B Luna. You can see it's approximately $11 uh, or UST. And uh, now we'll see if I can, how much I can borrow. I think I can borrow up to uh, about $6 or 5.7. And uh, this is where the liquidation risks come in. I would probably just use a small amount of borrowing right here so i will click borrow and i can drag this one we'll see uh, it should indicate after 35 percent ltv you can see caution borrowing is available only up to 40 percent ltv if the loan to value ratio reaches the maximum 50% LTV, a portion of your collateral may be immediately liquidated to repay part of the loan. So uh, adjusting this one and taking uh, 
you know smaller percentage might be a smart choice i'm not sure about that i'll just I'll just keep it on about 22 percent right here and you can see i can borrow about 2.5 uft so i'll just proceed and uh, borrow about 2.5 uft So right now I should have approximately 11.3 UST that I will get a net APR of about almost 127% as for now. And then I have a borrowed value of about 2.5 UST, which I now can use in whatever way I actually want. So uh, I will try to get some just passive income from this borrowed borrowed value <laughs> borrowed value and i can lock it up to about 20 percent apy right now and you can see uh, lots of different numbers that i'm talking about right now but the borrow apr is about 15.6 percent so this is the interest i will have to pay for my borrowed value right here so i would actually lose value of my borrowed uh, of my borrowed value but as i will try to lock this up into you know 20 percent apr or apy right now uh, i will actually get you know about five percent back on my borrowed value uh, about uh, net net apr on it so i hope it makes sense uh, I will just go to earn right now and this is where you will see the interest so APY right now is 19.45% so this is the place where I will uh, just deposit my borrowed uh, UST for 2.5 approximately so I'll click deposit and you can see I have some from UST uh, available uh, from earlier but i will just use my amount that i borrowed so that will be about 2.5 small transaction fee i will click proceed and now you can see my total deposit and you can see my expected interest so just imagine that you actually have higher amounts that you actually are willing to risk as it is risky uh, please be aware of that as i said in the beginning i'm just trying this out now for for small amounts obviously but i might look into taking bigger risks with uh, with bigger funds and i think the whole terra ecosystem is very exciting and interesting i'm i'm very excited to try these things out now when there are especially when there are so early and new so these are the steps if you want to earn some uh, interest and get paid earn money on actually borrowing money inside cryptocurrency DeFi, decentralized finance uh, applications like anchor protocol and inside the terra ecosystem uh, obviously there are alternatives inside the ethereum uh, network and stuff like that but uh, as the terra ecosystem and uh, applications inside the terra ecosystem is a lot newer and uh, probably more risky than on let's say ethereum then the apys and the interest will be higher than you will get on the ethereum uh, network at least that makes sense and uh, i think that's the case uh, I don't have any examples of it, but you can probably look up uh, Aave or some other applications and sites like that. So anyways, hopefully you found value in this video and thought it was um, uh, pretty cool and might raise some kind of interest in looking further into Terra or cryptocurrency or whatever that you found, uh, found interest in. So thank you for watching this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency tutorials and reviews 
else. Uh, I hope to see you around. Have a nice day and goodbye.